Okay, I'm really ticked off about two things. The first thing is, is that I, I had to follow Cyprus. I mean, <laughs> like, uh, and needless to say, he's just a heck of a lot cuter than I am. <laughs> and the second thing is, is that look how much smaller my name is. Than I, am. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> and I, I want to say that what a, what a privilege it was to write a forward for this book, because it's an important book. And uh, it's important because the landscape that provides information for parents and for clinicians and for all kinds of other people that should know about what good practices are, are that relate to helping kids in trouble is a swamp. <laughs> you know, it's a swamp. And even though quite a few books have been written that relate to child development and relate to aspects of child development when the development goes left rather than right, or up rather than down, or down rather than up, or in some other direction than it usually goes. Usually the advice given is not very scientifically informed. And one of the really amazing things about Annette and Annette's work, in a wonderful extension that really derives largely from the empirical science that came from her wonderful mentor, Moshe Feldenkrais, but she's elaborated beautifully in her own life and her own practice is the consistency between the principles that have evolved in this practice and the correctness in them in relation to the most advanced understanding of the plasticity of the brain. Because what she does and what this practice involves makes neurological sense in a profound way. And that's why I want people, I would advise anybody with a kid in trouble to read this book. And that's why it was a privilege for me to write a foreword for it. Because I think if a million people read this book who have a kid in trouble, that would not be enough. So if this is a great event, and Annette's a special person and should be especially congratulated, and she's the center of attraction here for us all. But what an accomplishment, and what an accomplishment in her life to have such an effect and such an influence. So I'm into helping her expand that influence and, and expand the reach of this message because I think it's really an important message. And finally, I just say, it's not just about the facts. It's not just about the principles. I think in this book, there's, um, Nat's other book also had quite a few principles, and they were good ones. I think this one has nine. Those are really good principles. <laughs> but it's about the second part, the second great message of the book. And that is to say, every child regardless of the situation that they're in, is endowed with a tremendous gift from nature or from the creator of the universe, however you want to envisage that. And that gift is the gift of plasticity. Brain is constructed by its very nature to change. And the second gift of this book is to, is to help people understand that when you have a kid in front of us, it seems like, seems so, seems so helpless and hopeless, seems so long a distance between where the child is at and what is possible. For a neurologist to say, basically to parents, that the child is more or less doomed in some very limited physical uh, way, I think that that should never be accepted in the face of it as the, as, as the first message. Doesn't mean to say, Helping that child move in a positive direction is not going to be, represent a tremendous struggle. Doesn't mean to say that every child is a miracle. But there's tremendous capacity in the brains of little children in all kinds of difficult situations to move in a positive, to move in a better, to move in a strengthening, to move in a corrective direction. So it's all about hope. It's really about hope. And that hope is not false hope. That hope is real hope. So that's why I want everybody to read this, this book. And it's just another reason why we'll always treasure Annette as a great person operating in this field and as a great friend. Thank you, Annette. Wow.